Rolls-Royce automobile troubleshooting. If you're looking for help fixing your Rolls-Royce automobile, look no further. Our comprehensive Rolls-Royce automobile troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Bad car battery. The battery powers the car engine together with the alternator. However, with time the terminals get contaminated with acid, and the battery no longer powers electrical components in the car. Just like your tires, you need to change your battery after every 5 years or 50.000 miles. Whichever comes first, it can be stressful operating with a dead battery because the car can stall at any time. Some of the signs of a dead battery include dim headlights, inability to power the stereo or AC, and problems starting the car in the morning. If the battery is working fine, then the problem could be with the alternator. Diagnose a check engine light. A check engine or service engine soon or reduced power light or warning message on your dash means your car's computer has detected a problem with the engine or transmission and stored a trouble code in its memory. In most cases, the problem is caused by a faulty sensor that you can probably replace yourself. But, first, you have to get the trouble code from the computer. Many auto parts stores will read the trouble code for free. Or, you can buy a scan tool, code reader and pull the codes yourself. Smoke from the exhaust. A functioning car produces some smoke in terms of exhaust gases. This is often colorless unless when you are starting your car during winter. However, excessive smoke is a signal of serious engine trouble. The color and smell of the smoke will offer clues as to what is wrong. If the smoke is white in color, then it may be your coolant that could be leaking. While if you have thick blue colored smoke, it could be oil getting into the combustion chambers. If it is black, it can mean that the engine is running too rich in fuel. Stalling. This can cause new motorists alarm. You are driving smoothly then all of a sudden the car comes to a complete halt in the middle of the road. If this happens on a highway, you may find yourself causing serious accidents. The car stalling's main reason includes faulty filters, fuel lines or defective crankshaft position sensor. Shaky steering wheel. The steering wheel for a well-maintained car should be stable and be easy to turn around. However, if your wheel bearings or suspensions are worn out, the steering wheel will shake even on smooth roads. At higher speeds, this can be dangerous to drive and can cause serious accidents. Have your mechanic inspect the wheels and suspension. You should also have your tires regularly aligned and all wheels inflated with the same tire pressure. Fix a dim headlight. Most DIYers think a dim headlight is caused by a poor connection on the power side of the circuit. That's possible, but in most cases, the dim headlight is caused by corrosion on the ground connection. So check the electrical connector for corrosion and then clean the ground connection. Remove the electrical connector that plugs into the headlight. Look for signs of corrosion or melted plastic from excessive heat. If you find corrosion, clean it using electrical contact cleaner and a small wire brush. Fix a squealing belt. Of all the car problems you might encounter, a squealing belt is probably the most annoying. The high-pitched squeal is produced when the rubber belt loses its grip and slips around the pulleys. In rare cases, a worn slow-moving alternator, pump, or AC compressor bearing or component misalignment can cause a perfectly good belt to squeal. But in most cases, the belt slips because it's worn, is loose, or has been contaminated with oil or coolant. You can diagnose all those problems yourself with a visual inspection, a belt wear gauge, and a spray water bottle. Sourcefamilyhandyman.com